And we're back on the rocks. I gotta kinda do this with both hands. So, the Gen 2 on the stock You can see how I'm having to do this because these controllers wheel is so small. I'll admit it, I've been at this for probably five minutes. And that was the best run. With the Gen 2. Now all I did was put 1.9 tires on it. Which that helped with the ground clearance issue and added a little bit of weight I needed. Oh, there. Yeah. I added 1.9 tires or rims, aluminum bead locks for some weight. Which the rims are really nice quality, other than the screws for putting it together. I already stripped one and had to drill it out. But it's like a le legit bead lock. Like there's two bead rings instead of just the one. It doesn't have a changeable uh, hex adapter, which is the only downside I can say for it. But other than that, the aluminum's nice quality. I think I paid 30 bucks, $35 for them on Amazon, which these are the original Traxxas, or the original tires I got to upgrade the Traxxas. And they were just too soft for it because of how heavy it was that they were just slipping in the beads. But they seem to be... They seem to be doing pretty good on this one because of how light it is. That's power die. I think the cold weather is killing the battery. We do the change. Now this came with the 900 originally in a little wall charger, which you can see it's it's like the perfect length for the cord for the thing. 
Now this is the uh, upgraded one or the extra I bought which it's bigger and longer so and as you can see all in one that's gonna get changed. I'm probably gonna hold on to these batteries though and keep running it on a uh, lipo nickel either or setup. All right battery change done. This is a little challenge spot that I like to try to do, which it's like almost impossible to get off because it's like a foot drop and then nothing but cliff and cliff. And it's not exactly the best transition, but you got a nice approach. So if you stick over here and you start, it's a lot easier. But yeah, let's back to this. This 1100 milliamp battery. Like I was saying, I'm going to do a probably one of the Spectrum ESC motor combo swaps in this. But I'll probably stick, I'll probably hang on to those nickel batteries for a while. For nothing else, they're good power packs, I guess, for lights. Yeah, with this factory electronics, I'm going to say this is more of a rock bouncer than a crawler. Sorry. Just because of the limitations. Uh, oh, there it goes. Alright, I'm going to appear with it this time. I think at this point, its biggest limitation is the axles. Maybe the flex. That and the fact that I have to hold the radio like this to be able to film doesn't help. Well, that goes to show the torque it's got. It just rolled the whole thing from where it was jammed. As you can see, those 1.9s don't hinder it at all. Oh, I can show you what I meant by the torque flex. You can see how it... It always lifts one wheel when you take off. Oh. 
Oh, you missed it. I flipped it over. So you see the stock, the stock motor and stuff got the juice. Oh, there it goes. Ha! Ah. Couldn't do that on the stock tires. It didn't start doing that where it rolled itself back over. Like you look at that front tire come off. Like, it's got the torque twist, that's for sure. 